lots of males mating with the same female, this causes a problem for the males. And so the males now, their sperms are going to have to compete inside the vagina to fertilize the eggs, and we call this sperm competition, well named. And so there are lots of crazy tactics about sperm competition. This is the penis of a seed beetle. Yes, these are spines. And what he does is he scrapes out the sperm that was left in the female's vagina from the previous mate and before he ejaculates himself. And it is as painful as it sounds, but it gets worse. So I was told that any talk, any science talk in particular at the Royal Institution, needs bangs and explosions. So may I present the male honeybee. After he bangs a female, his testicles explode. <laughs> and this is a form of copulatory plugs. So this is the, the overall strategy is, well, if I bung up her bits with my bits, then another male won't be able to get his bits in afterwards. <laughs> Loads of animals do this. But perhaps the scariest of all are my fruit flies, my Drosophila melanogaster. He's like your biologist, bread and butter animals. But they don't go for scraping out with a penis. They don't go for exploding testicles. No, their sperm has the power of mind control. I'm not kidding. There's a protein in the, in the fly ejaculate called sex peptide. And it alters the female's mind so that she's going to uh, not mate as fast afterwards as she would before. So she's less likely to mate after she's absorbed this protein. It also has the unfortunate side effect of killing her pretty quickly. So the more the female mates, the faster she dies, which is really bad if you're a female fly. In fact, don't be a female fly. Um, <laughs> And we're coming to the end of the talk, but everyone always asks me, but what about humans? And so there's possibly my favorite <laughs> experiment of all. Some researcher did, not only did, but got the funding to bring in a load of men to the lab and get them to wank off over pornography. And the pornography either contained threesomes of two men and one woman, i.e. this is a scenario where the males perceive they're going to be competing with another male, so sperm competition, or threesomes with two women and one man. So there was no threat and no sperm competition. And then the scientists studied the ejacula afterwards. Of course they did. <laughs> and they found that in the sperm competition, the two men and one woman, the men not only produced more sperm, but the sperm was of better quality. <laughs> and I've had plenty of women come up to me after this talk and say, so is that a good fertility tip, then? <laughs> <laughs> to which I can only say, if you want that kind of threesome and you're trying to get pregnant and your partner is into evidence-based practice, then maybe this is the way to go.